Hello and welcome to Chateau Dreams. This is our family's story of moving to the beautiful south of France to a partially renovated chateau during COVID lockdown with all of our animals. Now we're here, we will continue the restoration, we will go and interview people, we will see the sights, have a little bit of French culture and hopefully have some fun with some volunteers. Thanks very much for watching and if you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe. Good morning everyone, welcome to Chateau Dreams. This is the first of our Meet the Animals playlists, so I hope you enjoy them. We have a number of animals here at Chateau Bataille and uh, the peacocks are obviously a great part of our lives here. My mother kept peacocks when I was little and ever since then I've had a fascination for them. I really love these birds and many of our volunteers who come find themselves building up quite a good relationship with some of the peacocks. So. They're very friendly, um, our peacocks, they live wild here in the park. They can come in if they like, indoors into the, the peacock house, or they can choose to stay outside. Usually they stay outside and they sleep up in the trees. This particular peacock is Princess Ballerina and she is Scarlet's peacock, thus the name. We have had her since she was about three months old and she came here along with Rainbow, who is actually the largest of our peacocks here. Now, as you will know, um, a peacock is the male bird and a peahen is the female, so she is the female. And you can see the difference in coloration with a female bird, the brown, the green, and the cream. Whereas the boys, as you know, are, are blues and golds and all sorts of fascinating colours. Pretty typical in nature. Princess and our other peacocks here at the moment, Prism and Rainbow, are actually Indian peacocks. And they're this colour. You can also get white peacocks, green peacocks, um, black-shouldered peacocks and actually people are breeding them in all sorts of variety of different colors including opal peacocks which are really fascinating but as for me my favorite is the Indian although I do really like the black-shouldered as well. Princess is actually under two years old so this is her first season of laying eggs. Peacocks don't necessarily lay eggs until after they're two. She's actually started laying this year which those of you who've watched Chateau Tour number one will see, I popped her in the peacock house because peacocks actually sit on their eggs and, sorry, peahens sit on their eggs and they won't actually leave the nest even if there is a predator. So it's actually quite dangerous for her. So we popped her in the peacock house and she laid a couple of eggs. She wouldn't sit on them though. So, and one she actually destroyed, which means that there might be something wrong with that particular egg. So I've popped the other two in the incubator. I'm not sure if they're going to hatch. Obviously, we hope that they do. And then once they're old enough, they can come back to her, which will be really super. But also in the meantime, this year, there is the possibility that they're not, they're simply not ready to hatch. To hatch. Uh, sorry, meaning that they're not fertilized. So let's see what happens. She's a really lovely bird. She's very curious, as you can see. She's keeping a really good eye on birds in the trees, but also on Zeus, the sandwood puppy, who is running around a bit. Which is completely fair enough. Peacocks eat all sorts of things. Uh, they are omnivorous. They eat bugs, beetles, termites. They actually also eat baby snakes, mice, and they will kill rats. So they are actually very useful birds to have around in, a, in an old property. There we go. She, she's just flown into her peacock uh, nesting area. So as you can see, I'm trying not to disturb her too much. And we try not to disturb her too much. Just bring in food and water. And then if she looks like she wants to come out, then, then we let her out, which is obviously what I've just done. But now she's brought herself back in. Hmm. I think her laying season may have finished though, so I'm just gonna leave this door open so she can get in and out and also it gives me a chance to just tidy it up a little bit. Our peacocks and peahens are not yet hand tame, but they are pretty tame. You can hand feed them as I said. And um, oops, Zeus deciding he wants to get involved on the action. 
Zeus is actually very good with the peacocks. He just likes to see them jump a bit. So don't worry, we don't, don't let him chase anybody or do anything silly like that. You can't hear, particularly with the horses and the foals and so on. It's very dangerous. Anyways, you see, he just jumps off and goes and looks somewhere else. Very relaxed and laid back. Off to go and see the chickens, probably laughing at them slightly because they have an enclosure and she doesn't. Their enclosure is very big and they also have their house, as you know, their big house. So. We're very lucky here because we have a lot, as you know, very high trees. So for the peacocks, it's great. They and pea and her, pea hen, sorry, princess, um, they fly up in the trees and sleep in there most of the time. And also it's nice and cool in there. Peacocks originate from India, although now they're pretty much bred in captivity in most places. They are quite a thing here in the south of France. People do enjoy keeping them. Nobody really seems to mind the noise that the calls that they make here either. Oh look, there's Kobe the cat back in with the chickens. Kobe. But actually there was a law passed in France the law of the countryside, I believe it was put into law last year actually, about if people move into the countryside in France, they have to expect the sights, sounds and smells of the countryside. And nobody who is already in the countryside and has cows or sheep or anything that, that makes a noise, or for example does a pool on the road, can be told off by the other person. There we go, up she goes. Um, it's actually against the law now, it's to try and preserve the countryside. So there you are, princess. Your rights are protected. Hmm. Not sure if the chicken's food is going to be protected this morning, but anyway. Anyhow, everyone, that's Princess Ballerina. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, on this playlist, I'll introduce you to some of our animal other animals another time. And thanks very much, princess, for your help. <laughs>